Hello everyone and welcome back to Orchid Saga. So yes, today I have another uh, unboxing today. So uh, what happened was that I did give uh, away two of my orchids. Uh, one I had double and one was a white fell Leopsis and I have uh, enough white fells. So yeah, I did get a sort of uh, empty nest syndrome <laughs> and I needed to, uh, uh, of course I didn't need to, but um, I bought some new plants and I uh, thought, well, it's a nice uh, video, I think. Uh, I bought this, this is the first time that I bought orchids from them. It's from Akarna Orchids. Uh, that's where you f will find the uh, rain mix. So if you find uh, a, 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 or you're looking for a good uh, fertilizer in, uh, in uh, Europe, you should uh, visit Akarna Orchids because they have the rain mix. I'm uh, a really big fan of uh, that fertilizer. It's based almost the same as the MSU fertilizer, but that's very hard to get here in Europe, of course. So then you may, if you want to, like I said, uh, find something similar, just go over to Akarna Orchids. But they also sell orchids, so I thought, well, uh, let's have a look. And this time I found a few very nice uh, uh, orchids, I think. So let's open the box. Let me see, I have my scissors ready for the tape. And I'm saying for the tape, because uh, always uh, be careful, of course, for your hands, fingers. And of course the plants inside, you don't want to stick your scissors too much into the box. You never know what happens. But oh yeah, this is, whoops, that was my mic, I'm sorry. It's been a bit, a bit of a, a rough road, I think, uh, uh, for these orchids in transport. Because, uh, transport, I'm sorry. Because there's a very, uh, there's a hole in a box. That's not a good sign. So, whoops. Let's see how they look. I hope they are fine. It feels very sturdy, the box itself, so it's probably okay. Whoops. They used uh, quite some glue, I think you can see it. They glued the uh, lids very, uh, very well, I must admit. So yeah. One sticking out a little bit. So here we have the invoice. I don't think you could read that. <laughs> because my address is on there and I have a little scoop for the fertilizer. Um, oh, nice packing paper, very nice. So let's, uh, let's open the first one. I think I'm holding it upside down, I'm not completely sure. So yeah, nice wrapping paper. Most of the times I do get the brown stuff, but this is very uh, cheerful. <laughs> and these types of paper, handy for packing, but I don't uh, like them that much. They do get everywhere. This one is uh, actually has two spikes. Beautiful. That's nice. That's a good start. And some cakeys as well. I do not have this genre already in my uh, collection. This is a new one. Sarcohylus, Sarcohylus, I think you pronounce it. Parma lemon drops crossed with cool. Nara Coral Sparkle. Both yellow ones and I like my yellow blooms so but they didn't have a picture of the exical cross. Maybe because they are turning up quite different or it's a very new one for them as well. I don't know but I thought well let's uh, try a uh, Sarcohylus and uh, we will see how we do with this. But so far it's does look very healthy, I must admit. Beautiful. And so in spikes. So that's very promising. That's the first one. And as you can see, I ordered quite quite a few. I think five, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure. <laughs> well, next one. So 
So yeah, empty nest syndrome. I feel much better. First new rocket is in. Yeah. I know. But they are so beautiful. Um, I don't feel... A basket yet? That looks like it's... Um, How do you call it? Um, almost bare rooted. No. It is on a mount. Very strange mount, I must admit. Not sure what this is. It doesn't feel uh, very nice on my fingers, I must admit. <laughs> but I have it uh, a lot. I don't know what it is, but I fabric and stuff some some materials i really cannot stand having uh, having on my fingers incredibly annoying and this is the stuff that, uh, no i don't like it <laughs> but that's not uh, the seller did a wonderful job because it's making new roots all over and it was a young plant and it was uh, also uh, listed with a plant i think uh, two to three years from blooming but this one is beautiful Post Pastechia Marie of Maria Mexico. This is not the same one that I mentioned from uh, two to three years from blooming. I think this might even be blooming size. I'm, I apologize. That one is uh, is not, still to come. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think this is nearly blooming size, if I can see. Very nice young plants and working on new roots we have some roots here as well in the back whoops i'm sorry of that mount but the mount i hate i'm sorry i don't know what the stuff is but yeah okay next one next one <laughs> let us see I really like this wrapping uh, paper. It likes. Uh, it looks like little presents, and they are. <laughs> even I, uh, even though I bought them myself, of course. But yeah, they did a beautiful uh, job on the packing. I must admit. Whoops! This one is falling out of the pot. So, try not to damage everything. This is a top heavy one. They are a little bit cold, but. Dendrobium lodiesii. Oops, I'm sorry, that was the tripod. But it looks good, beautiful. Lodiesii. Beautiful one, and it's even making uh, two new growths, I think. Yes. Two. I hope you can see them both. Well, I see three. I see another one coming. Very tiny. Beautiful. Beautiful. Also a very uh, healthy plant, as far as I can see. So, so far they do a great job with their orchids. And they are being mentioned, and uh, we have a little cakey there as well, I see now here. And something there. So yeah, a lot of uh, growth there. But as far as I know, most people are very happy with this seller. And so far I, uh, I can uh, see why. This is a fairly big one. So let's have a look. At my next person. Oops. And they also do not use insanely amounts of uh, cello tape, which I like as well. The tape can be very annoying. So yeah, so far so good. Beautiful, quite long canes. But this new 
Dendrobium. Oh, this one is uh, actually normally hanging. That's great. Do you already have an idea which one this is? It's a very uh, how do you call it? People like this one. <laughs> I see it uh, uh, come by quite often. This is Dendrobium osnosman, osnosman Philippines. So, oops, let me try to. Uh, this cane looks broken. This is an older cane, but so far the rest is looking uh, quite quite good. I I don't know if these are bots. I think, yeah, here. I think this one is uh, starting to bot. So. But, and we also have a new growth. Yeah, this one is beautiful. Very healthy plant again. Let me show you the tag. Yeah. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Anasman, Philippines. Very, very nice plant. And yeah, it uh, is starting to bud, so that's very nice. Where should I put it? Whoops. Yeah, that's what you have with long canes. You didn't see that, but it knocked this one over. <laughs> so let me, um, I can put it here on the ground. Just a second, you guys. Oh, I see another new growth. These plants are in very healthy conditions. Absolutely, absolutely. It's a family business and they are really uh, passionate about growing the orchids. And they came up with the uh, they made their own, basically their own uh, fertilizer based on the MSU fertilizer, the rain mix. But yeah, these are very uh, passionate people, passionate growers. You can see that and you can yeah, hear that uh, with, uh, in other videos with other growers as well. And so far the plants are absolutely beautiful, beautiful, really impressed. Most of the times I do have a few plants from other growers that really need uh, to come back to life, sort of, because they have uh, been not treated as they should, but these guys are beautiful. Next one, but who are you? Oh, I'm sorry, a little bit out of frame. I think I'm back, yes. Yeah, this is the one I was talking about. That is two to three years from blooming, they said, but the blooms are fantastic. So, so beautiful. This one I had my eye on for quite some months, but they luckily still had them for sale. So let's have a look. This is the Trichoplia. <laughs> and then a cross. <laughs> so you can read it for yourself because I will suck no lenta cross with But yeah, you should definitely look this one up. The blooms are beautiful. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to having this one in blue, at least for some day, somewhere. Might be off a few years. This is a little bit uh, wobbly in a pot. I think it's okay, but it's not making new roots as far as I can see. Uh, yeah, so this one needs some, uh, not not really attention, it can stay in the pot, but I, uh, yeah, it's not doing much at the moment. And then we have the last one. Oh yeah, I remember this one, this sh should be. <laughs> This one uh, is a favorite of Rogers. It should be this one. If I'm correct. And many more people, of course. It's a very beautiful one. Yeah. 
Yes, beautiful as well. It has two new growths, a keiki, two canes. I'm sorry, I'm completely out of frame. I apologize. Two keikis, uh, new growths, I'm sorry, a keiki, and two beautiful canes. And yes, this is the Victoria Regina, Dendrobium Victoria Regina. I hope you can see it. So, a young plant, but it is really growing nicely. We even have growing tips, at least here, and a few in a pot. So yeah, these dendrobiums are really uh, doing well. So, um, I had another thing in a box. Let me show it to you guys, because that was the first reason, actually, that I... Sorry for the noise. That I uh, needed to order something because of the, like I said, remix. Let me open the bag so you can see it a bit better. But this is it. Beautiful. Absolutely, a big fan of this fertilizer. It's beautiful stuff. I. This is the. Um, second large container you have a even big larger and the smaller ones i normally uh, buy the smaller ones because uh, the smaller ones are emptied earlier of course but this will uh, at, 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 uh, attract quite some moisture out of the air so therefore i like the little containers but this is for uh, i can uh, top it up the little one so i have i uh, just opened recently my last container so i thought yeah i don't want to run out of this stuff so i uh, need to buy and then i started looking for orchids and i saw that they had quite a few that i would like to try to grow so that's how uh, my order uh, came alive and uh, of course it was a little bit pushed by the uh, emptiness syndrome <laughs> i'm kidding you of course but uh, um so yeah i'm going to clean up and we'll have a last look at all the plants nicely uh, together so here is the uh, complete haul for today. Beautiful. Let's uh, have a little close up. Now we can get the orchids and like I said, the rain mix. But here you can see the beautiful uh, new growths on the uh, Victoria Regina and a keiki there. Young plants, of course, but they. Uh, this one does look very healthy. Well, actually all of them. And we have, yeah, a new growth there as well. On my Logesiae. It's there in the back. There it is, in the back. You can see it. Beautiful. And a keiki there. And I think on this one as well, or maybe above, not sure could be a bot as well this is the only one that is not growing actively or showing signs of anything but once again this is the name very special one I think but that should be of blooming for two to three years well we shall see this is uh, the one with the beautiful spikes my sarco Sarko Silas, Silas. My pronunciations aren't uh, as good as well. <laughs> I hear a lot of orchids uh, growers struggle about the names, so luckily I'm not the only one. <laughs> and the Osnosman is having a new growth there, one here, and one there in the back. Uh, just hiding at here, you can see it. So at least three new growths already and that one is uh, fairly uh, fairly big already it's i think it can grow uh, quite quite bigger but for uh, for just a new plant and yeah i really think that this one is uh, trying to uh, show us the blooms in the uh, near future so that's very great obviously so yeah this is the haul and I think uh, most people like the unboxes because those are uh, getting quite some views on my uh, channel. And I really like it, but I, uh, I cannot do as much, of course, because I already have so many plans. But, uh, but yeah, I really hope uh, you enjoyed this, uh, this unboxing. And of course, we uh, will follow them 
during their transition period into uh, self-watering because that's uh, of course what I want to do um, with at least as much uh, as I can but I think this one will be an exception maybe I will disgrow this one as my uh, Talomnias because if I'm correct I just didn't do much research yet on them just a little bit that they have a sort of similar care they, they like a sort of similar care but I, I'm not sure I need to uh, look into that a bit more but then I will put it in a clay pot and uh, that's nice because it can go with my Vendasia types orchids in that section but the rest I will uh, will try in self-watering so uh, that's uh, for the near future so thank you for watching and as usual if you have any questions please let them know let me know in the comment section below and I really hope to see you at one of my next videos bye bye